the concho right here, face down. I recommend using some leather first. Oh, oh, oh. First place the rivet post. I'm using a double cap rivet for this purpose. Then the concho and the belt. Take your little leather keeper here. I'm just using a key ring because it'll, I feel it will retain the uh, chain better. Make sure it is facing the, the right direction of the belt because not all rivets allow to be twisted once they're in place. All right, so you make sure it's in place. There it is. Take your center, soft hammer, and by the power of Thor. There we go. Yep. And yes, these are facing the right direction. Ready to hang the spar on it or anything else, even an Elizabethan sword carriage. If you don't already have a spar on, you can, but you do have another belt pouch, here's what you do. And just put some key rings on the belt loops back here yes um, if it's a thick leather like this one then you will probably have to use like um, an awl or a knife of some sort to pry it open a little bit and you can just uh, attach the chains here this is a, a medium large size um, pouch um, I do not recommend but if this is all you have you can use it this is a small pouch with thinner leather here it will be easier to put them in but they'll never stay put the key rings that is but if this is all you have then you can use this as always you will lay out your belt first but this time with a spore on chain and strap already in it already through the loops as like so I recommend having the strap on its longest or widest setting and through the loop and put one of the clips into the buckle already to avoid losing it when you strap it on hello again I'm going to show you a new step, how to fold and wrap your kilt with a no limited space, limited time, plus how to wear your spore on with a great kilt. Let's see. Now you start with your tartan rolled up like so, and uh, you just, I'm going to go ahead and just pleat it to the set this time. Yes, even if limited space or time, we can still pleat it properly. All right. Arm's length, here is the belt, right here. You just roll it out a little bit more. And this is just gonna be pleating to the set. I'm not gonna, I prefer pleating to the stripe or column myself, but don't have time for that. Now you see, one of the advantages, as you pleat, it can unroll itself. Because this one's a little bit easier to pleat, so that's why we're gonna just pleat to the set. You can unroll it at your own pace, but we still need the pleats to overlap a little bit. Um. I'm not sure if, if I'm crawling over your kilt once pleated is a good idea, but that's not what I'm here to do. See my other video for that. All right, let's see if we have at least an arm's length left over. A little bit more so we can put a couple more pleats in it. Sorry, I don't really have it timed out like um, how many um, stripes there are to a 
yard or anything. So let's roll this out a little bit more. If you can roll it out all the way, then do so. All right, I think it's good enough. Right, here's our belt buckle with the spore on chain attached. Right hand side first. Left hand side. Now, the chain is attached to the buckle. We don't have to worry about this side. But for the, the strap side, grab the chain and the buckle. So, I mean, chain and the strap so you don't lose track of it. Let's fasten it here. Right on. Stand up. I'm going to go fall down now. Okay, once you've gotten it on, just let it fall as before. And you tuck them in the back. First, before you put on the spore on, you will tuck the aprons in back. Now it's clear. You will go get the chains. They can take a little while to find this one. Ah, this one's clipped. I know where to find it. But before that, I will grab the spore on and attach the free chain. Now I will unstrap the buckle chain. Now see, I know this hole, I know where it is. And I will attach the other. And here we go. Now let's see, I'm not really gonna go into much of it, just have a drink from And there we go, we have our spore on with coat. It probably can't really be adjusted though at this point. 